Did I buy this for her clothes? Maybe, maybe I did. What's up, fabs and besties? Today we are taking a look at some Barbie stuff I found at Target and Walmart, like fashion packs and Barbie Extra. I even picked up this playset for $19.99 cause I thought there might be a few things worth looking at. I found these Chelsea backpacks at the Dollar Tree. They were $1.25 each. They have different themes like sleepover backpack, back to school backpack, and on the go backpack. Each pack has four items. This is the on the go backpack. You get a purple backpack with a little heart on it. And it looks like the backpack can actually open. That's pretty cool. We have a teeny tiny camera because this is all Chelsea size and there's a little hand grip on the side. Looks like we also get a toothbrush, a tiny pink toothbrush and a neck pillow that has a cat theme. Can it all fit into the backpack? Well, we can get the camera in there and the toothbrush and the neck pillow, almost. Here is the back to school set. We have a pink backpack, a little flag, a book, and a juice box. If you look closely, the book actually says science. I'm not sure if you can see that. The juice box is pretty cute, in my opinion, and the flag says go team. The sleepover set comes with a tail bag, a little tiny bottle of nail polish, a brush, and a plastic purple teddy bear. We can totally paint some details onto that nail polish for a little more fun. I wonder if the Barbie Extra Minis can fit those backpacks. Yep, they sure can. Now it does say Chelsea on the back, but that is totally a sticker. So if you wanted to remove it, you could. Then I just cut the little Barbie name off and put it back on the bag. She can also use the neck pillow, the camera, the toothbrush, the nail polish and hairbrush, hold the juice box and the flag. So I think that is pretty cool that the Barbie Extra Minis can use some of the Chelsea accessories. And that's good to know because a few more minis have entered the scene. This Barbie Extra Mini has long dark hair with platinum streaks in the front. It is pretty soft. She comes with green glasses, has a little bit of glitter in her eyes, silver metallic earrings, a gold metallic necklace, wears a blue and white jacket with green stitching, a pink and white two-piece outfit underneath, has white boots, and comes with a purple stereo. And look at that. Not all mini feet are the same. And this doll comes with a blue stand. Here we have a Barbie Extra Mini with blue hair. She wears a plastic beanie that can be removed. Her head is shaved and flocked on one side. She has green glitter eyes, wears a silver hoop on one ear and a stud on the other, has a silver choker, wears a green and blue two-piece outfit. The shirt has long sleeves, which I really like. Sometimes it feels like we don't get a lot of long sleeve shirts, so I really appreciate it when we do. She has orange sunglasses, black boots covered in glitter, so they're nice and sparkly, and she comes with a pearly colored bag. The last Barbie Extra Mini that I bought has a cute little teddy bear theme. She has blue eyes with glitter, wears large silver hoops that say queen, a two-piece purple fuzzy outfit that has a hood with ears. There's an opening so her hair hangs down in the back. She also has a long sleeve top. The bottom is a separate skirt. She has a cute little teddy bear fanny pack or hip bag. A little bee decorating the side of the hood. Black and red sunglasses. And lavender tall boots with painted laces. Standing under six inches tall, they are all articulated with movement at the head, 
the shoulder, the elbow, the hip, and the knee. I was surprised at how much I liked this line. Now this is just on a personal note. I know everyone has their own taste and preferences. And usually I kind of shy away from dolls with oversized heads. Maybe it's the articulation, but I think these dolls are kind of adorable and I like some of the painted details we're getting with them. And I like that they are Barbie Extra Minis and not so much Barbie Extra Little Sisters. Don't come for me, I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with Little Sisters. This is just my personal preferences as a adult doll collector. Fashion Packs. I finally found this one with the mask. It was at Target for $4.99. I bought one like this before with the black hat, but it didn't come with the mask. It came with, I think, a camera. In this set, we have an animal print bag, a black hat, yellow shoes, a mask, water bottle. This is a teddy bear. I think it would have been really cute if it was like a little pet dog that would fit in the bag sunscreen or sunblock, a necklace, some gold glasses, a bracelet, and a fanny pack or hip bag. Or maybe it's a stuffed dog because it has a tail. The shoes can fit a curvy. We can just load our doll up with all those accessories or just use a few at a time. This fashion pack has a mask for Ken. We mentioned it in our Meet the Dolls video. It's a blue plastic mask that fits right over the ears. It just kind of clips onto the face. It comes with a green and white cardigan with the letter K on the chest. It is green and white all the way around. However, the red, white, and blue stripe doesn't continue in the back. This fashion pack also comes with a pair of orange shorts. I finally got my hands on the Jurassic World fashion pack I was looking for. I thought this set would make adorable pajamas. It's a short sleeve crop top and long pants with an elastic waistband. There's a dinosaur print and pink stitching. It also comes with a pink backpack, some mint green sneakers, a pink camera, a gold colored necklace, a bracelet, another bracelet, and some sunglasses. I've got a nice little collection of this shoe growing. This set also comes with orange headphones. I found these at Walmart for about $4.99 each. Aw oh man, it's missing some stitches. It's an orange dress with pink and green leaves, large puff sleeves. They don't really hug the doll's arm. It comes with a yellow headband and a pink bag. I thought this could be a cute dress for Valentine's Day. It's a little short pink and red dress with a large cross the body ruffle. It comes with a purse and a pair of red heels. I think it's very festive and I don't know, ruffles are kind of growing on me ever since Encanto. I've got a thing for tie dye, so I picked up this set. It's an oversized two-tone t-shirt, purple on one side, pink on the other. The pattern continues around the back where it velcros it comes with teal sneakers and a white plastic scrunchie. It's very chill and could be fun for lounging around the dollhouse. Speaking of tie-dye, I saw this playset for $19.99 at Target and I just loved her look. The playset has a lot going on. There are a lot of different colors, mint green, pink, orange, yellow, hot pink, blue, the stove is teal with a faux marble top. I do like the faux marble top. The details on the front are a sticker. The door does open and there is a silver rack that goes inside. There is storage underneath and the top has a lot of little holes for the items so they can stay secure. Oops, bad demonstration. There you go. I like the mixer. We can bend it up and place the bowl underneath and then that piece goes in there and that's actually pretty cute. If you push the button, it mixes. Now if it had one of those kind that you would turn and then it would just keep mixing by itself, that would be cool. There's a little container that we can place on the side 
to hold the spatula and the rolling pin and stuff like that. However, these colors are a little out there. I mean, we have a hot pink spatula and then a yellow rolling pin, blue measuring spoons, and an orange oven mitt. There is a hot pink pan and a loaf of bread that can fit inside and a slice. We can place that in the oven and close the door. We have eggs, bananas, a kitchen towel, and a very orange cat. And there's a little rack on the side for the towel. I'm going to be for real. I like the little details. The mixer is cute. I just personally feel like the colors are kind of all over the place. And I would love to combine it with like other Barbie play sets like the dishwasher that came out a year or two ago. Maybe longer than that. But I mean, how are you supposed to arrange this? Like that, maybe? I would love to be able to piece together all of these different play sets to create a kitchen. But to me, now this is my opinion, it kind of feels like they're all created to be standalone pieces. Well, these two could kind of go together. I don't know, I could be totally overthinking this and it's supposed to be a mashup of color and you just gotta make it work. The included doll is a petite, so her outfit might not fit an original. It's a pink and white one piece that Velcros in the back and she has mint green sandals. Here it is on an original made to move body. It is a little shorter, but I think we can get away with it. And the shoes fit perfectly. Overall, I think there are some fun pieces we can get out of this set. Speaking of lots of color, here is Barbie Extra. This is a fashion and pet pack. I found them at Walmart for $9.99 each. I love the idea of Barbie Extra fashion packs, but I personally could do without the pets. And I know some of you like them. It's just, you know, I, I would rather have this one over that one. I mean, this one's like see-through and glitter. And that one's just like a cute little sleeping kitten. In this pack, the pet does have quite a few accessories. It has a little cloud bumper car, a star headband, and donut glasses. Then we get a fur vest that is lined with pink on the inside and a cloud purse. In another set, we get a purple lamb that comes with a wig and a hair extension. You can also do the hair extension with the wig and there is a comb. We get a zip up crop hoodie with a working zipper and an opening in the back for the doll's hair and a large pink bow purse. In the last pack, we get a blue and purple bear, a yellow beanie, pink headphones that plug into a green stereo. However, I'm not having a lot of luck with getting it to stand. Oh, there we go. Better. No. You know, this could be operator error, so yeah. We also get a blue jacket with large pockets on the front. Those are working pockets, faux buttons, a large graphic on the back, and a record player to hang on the doll's arm. I don't know if this is a themed purse or an actual record player, so please forgive me. I'm gonna give all the pets to the minis. I think the fashion items fall right in with the Barbie Extra line. I do wish they were sold separately from the pets, but then again, I'm a little biased against the pets, so yeah. Speaking of pets, here is another one. In the Barbie Extra Style Selector Closet. I got this at Walmart for $29.99, and that's a pretty good mirror because you can like see all my stuff on the other side of the table. It's a pretty nice size at about 10 and a half inches to the top. If you count the top of the sign, or closer to 12. It has positive sayings like shine on, do your thing. On one side, it says so extra. On the other, it says outfit goals. There is a large Barbie extra sign at the top. And then it says, let's play. In the back, there is a door that we can open. 
to load the machine with the included accessories. There are 20 pieces and we can push this button to see what our accessory is for the day. What was that? I think that was a watch. It's a little purple bracelet. And what else can we get? There we go. Oh, I got two bags this time. On the side, there is a closet with more storage and a mirror. There are little cutouts in the back, a little hook on the side, and a drawer at the bottom. We have one little clothing piece, three hangers, two pairs of shoes, two pairs of sunglasses, a couple of bags, a necklace, a visor, and a camera. And of course, a pet. This one is very similar to one of the dogs from Wave 1, it's just a different color. So those are my latest Barbie purchases. Let us know in the comments down below if any of these items are a buy or a pass. Thank you for joining us for another Barbie haul. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and bella of my froggy stuff and we will see you next time bye